Good morning. Okay, <laughs> so welcome to today's video. If you're wondering, bakit ni ganto ako? Because it's Happy Kadayawan in Davao in August. We are checked in currently in Avida. Supposedly, there's indak indak in Kadalanan. However, it's moved to 2 p.m. instead of 7 to 8 a.m. And now, maybe it's a blessing this guys because. In today's video, if you have read the title and you clicked on it, it's my first day for my master's in basic education in English. I have officially enrolled late <laughs> in Ateneo de Davao University and I just decided because I want to pursue English. I did enroll in a different master's last year. Um, however, it's not applicable with me since I cannot go do missions and leave my family. That's why I'm just going to make sure and pursue my English studies. At the same time, look at the long-term goal for my family. And now, um, I am logged in. So again, that's what I said. We are in a condo. We're just checked in. This is not the ideal setup. But it is what it is right now. I have to do what we have to do. I have saved up some money for me to uh, pursue this since masters will just take two to three years. It's not really a four-year course, but really depends if I'm going to pursue my thesis. But academic-wise, um, it's just two years with summer in the first year. Quantitative and qualitative? methods of research. I'm just going to update you what will happen throughout the day but um, I'm so blessed that it's an online class. These are online classes so you know hopefully I can manage everything while being online. Are supposed to start 9 a.m. Even fumbled earlier and got nervous that I'll be late because I was able to uh, log in 9:05. Pero yun nga, um, Doc, uh, my first professor, had problems with his uh, microphone, so we're not able to start on time or start the class. Uh, currently, he just chatted uh, about our schedule that we are supposed to be blended face to face plus online. Um, but we all agreed that we can do online and we're just gonna do the face-to-face -face, um, towards the end of the sem for our defense the thesis and papers but it's okay it's for my own growth and I think I deserve learning rather than just scrolling on social media doing nonsense stuff so I better just learn and practice my brain rather than just doing learning new stuff online that are not Mm, good for my well-being, insecurities, comparing myself, and not just being productive if I just scroll online and just watch YouTube videos. So it's really, to, this year will be a great year. I know that. God had promised me that um, no matter if I am on my high, on my lows, but I know that it'll be a good year. It'll be a good day. But yet, according to his will, I will finish this. And if not, yeah, let's see. But I will work hard at the same time, work hard for my tuition and to provide for my family. But yes, this is the start of a new journey. 
and I hope you could comment some good words and you know encouragement for me to pursue this. See you again soon. Hi everyone, I'm done on my third week for this month's class. Uh, last week, I wasn't able to vlog because we went out and uh, don't ako na class. And unfortunately, some other, um, some parts don't where we were last week, wala masyadong magadang, hindi masyadong magadang yung signals. Um, intermittent yung class ko, so that's why I decided not to vlog and I didn't bring my camera as well. Para mapo focus on both of what I'm doing, where I was, and at the same time my classes. All right, so today it's quite, it's not that hectic, but um, I woke up with a project that we will be submitting um, before the midnight strikes, so 11:59 p.m. and we are supposed to, we are going to critique our research. Um, a research uh, article in a science akin. So that's with uh, my MAED 513 quantitative, quantitative and qualitative method. In a science akin is um, phenomenological study. And I found one. It's not related with English, but it's related with teaching, which is online teaching after COVID or during COVID. So I'm almost done with that. And after which we did um, an orientation with all the graduate students at 1 p.m. earlier. And uh, it was our professor who was a facilitator. So, um, yung 1 o'clock ko na class nakuha yung because of the um, orientation. And um, supposedly another class, uh, right, 4 o'clock, pero... Uh, kinuha ng class ko ng 1 p.m. for us to take care of our schedule because there are there are changes and earlier we talked about the presentation and the report we're gonna do the final topics and um uh, quite happy but not that happy that we are going to have face to face once a month. Not that happy kasi medyo malayo, but happy din kasi meet yung classmates ko and the teachers. And I think it's really authentic if there are discussions and makita yung dynamics niyo with your classmates if you see each other face-to-face. -face. So somehow excited with it. Um, I'm just not that excited with all the work and with all the assignments and the reading that we need to do. And I know I've been in a different program for a master last year so i know you need to read a lot and you have to write a lot and i'm just not prepared because you know naging batugan din ako for how many months and just focus on work and now back to being a student i need to prepare myself that i need to read a lot that i need to take care of my time to manage it well and then na scroll and scroll and surf and surf so tiktok instagram facebook youtube <laughs> i still do that between my breaks anyway um, I'll see you again next week and so excited for next month since you have face-to-face -face for one of our subjects now. So, see you again. 